If you've watched my Making New Friends video, you will notice I'm in the exact same position in the exact same clothes, and it's because I'm filming these about five seconds apart from each other. Hey everyone, it's Jordan Page. If you're like me and you love Halloween, I bet you're as stoked as I am. The only thing that's stressing me out right now is that my costume isn't here yet, and I'm really concerned that it won't get here, so that's stressing me out. But other than that, I am so excited for Halloween. I will say I'm a little bummed that this year I'm now probably too old to go trick-or-treating because I was one of those people who I went trick-or-treating all the way up until I could. It was never lame for me. I didn't care. I didn't care if I went alone. I didn't care if I went with one friend, two friends. It didn't, it didn't matter. I love and I loved and still love trick-or-treating. However, this year I will not be going trick-or-treating. I will hopefully be giving out candy to trick-or-treaters. However, I don't think my apartment complex does that, so I'm gonna have to find somewhere that I can go hand out candy, because if I can't, I will be really sad. This video is about staying safe on Halloween. So whether you are one, going out trick-or-treating, if you don't really care about that part, you're going to a Halloween party, you're handing out candy, whatever it is. We're mainly focusing on the second one, by the way, because the, the, especially the last one, handing out candy, isn't super, doesn't have the potential to be super dangerous. So let's focus on the first two. If you're going trick-or-treating, Naturally, you've probably been doing this for a few years, so you kind of know the basics, but let's just reiterate them, shall we? Don't eat candy that's already opened. If there is sketchy candy, just don't eat it. It's not worth it. Check for dangerous things in your candy, especially back to number one, if it's opened. When you're crossing streets, don't be dumb. Look both ways. Make sure there are no cars coming, because even though it's Halloween, some people will come blaring down the street in their car like a bat out of you nowhere, so just be careful. Lastly, make sure you keep in touch with your friends and your family, get home at a reasonable time so you don't freak anyone out. Now, for the Halloween parties, here's the thing. I have never been to a crazy Halloween party in my life because I was homeschooled for the last two years of high school and I'm not a party person. But I'm gonna give you advice then, coming from a person who has never been to one and has just watched them on TV. So I'm gonna give you an outsider's perspective. Number one, do not leave your drink anywhere. And if you do, don't drink out of it when you find it again, because you don't know if someone's put something in it and it's better to be safe than sorry. I'm obviously an advocate for no underage drinking, no underage, or just illegal activity in general. But if there's anything going on at this party that is of that nature and you're not comfortable with it, get out of there somehow. Or if you stay, just make sure that you are safe and that other people around you are staying safe. And I don't think I have to def define what staying safe means. You know what I mean. If there is underage drinking and either you or your friends are taking part in it, please make sure there is a designated driver because that is extremely important. As I said, I am not condoning underage drinking. I would advise against it, but this is the world we live in. I'm not a judgmental person. Just stay safe. Number four, stay safe on the roads if either you are driving, your friends are driving, whatever it is. Halloween can get pretty crazy. Watch out for kids walking, anything like that. Just drive more safe than you normally would. Five, know your own limits and know your own comfort zones. Uh, if you are being pushed way too far out of your comfort zone, don't be ashamed to just leave. Don't be, don't, you know, it, it's hard with peer pressure and stuff, but ultimately take one second to ask yourself, this is the thing my dad always told me by the way, so thank you dad, I'm gonna say it to you guys. If you were in a situation and you were being pressured to do something that probably won't go very well, if you can, take a second, think to yourself, where do I want to be in life, like goal-wise? And will this help me achieve my goal? Or will this potentially hinder me from my goal? And the goal can be anything. The basic point is to stop for a second and ask yourself, is this actually a good idea? Or could this potentially have lasting consequences? I lost count, but I think we're on number six. Same thing with if you're going trick-or-treating, make sure you stay in contact with your friends or with your family, with either who you came to the party with, your family back home, whatever it is, just to make sure you're letting everyone know that you're safe. I'm not saying like every 10 minutes, or even just when, like for your family, when you arrive and when you're leaving. I know my parents really appreciate that, so they know that we got there safe and that we're leaving safe. 
that's about all I've got. I hope that was slightly helpful. Some of that stuff you might listen to and be like, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. But then if you actually come into that situation, it's hard to remember those things that seemed like common sense in those situations. So just try to, if you're in an uncomfortable situation, whatever it is, try to stop for a second and ask yourself, is it a safe decision or is it a not safe decision? Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, my Instagram is down here and the link to my daily vlog channel is in the description of this video. If you wanna reach out to me at any point in time, ask me anything, I'm always willing to answer and I'll help the best that I can. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you have a very happy, very safe, filled with candy Halloween and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.